One other constitutional officer that's not with us today who would be here with Bells and Wilson Bone is, is uh, Major General Bob Livingston. And uh, he's at a uh, national convention of adjutant generals in Milwaukee. And one of his political, his political uh, lieutenant would be here. But he's having to deal with stuff with, uh, I started to say Iran. Maybe that, they might be thinking about it. Irene. And then his rain is working too. But anyway, apparently, you know, when there are hurricanes and stuff, the South Carolina Electric Cooperatives, SEEG, Duke Power, and um, the others, I guess Progress Energy, they send folks to help in other parts of the country. Because I remember when Hugo hit, there were folks from all, units from all over the country helping us out. Well, anyway, we have agreements with other states to send National Guardsmen to help. And so a lot of our guys are going up the coast to help the folks. And so that's why they're not represented today. Um, talking about brave folks, where's Senator Tom Davis? He's here. He was here a while ago. And uh, you want to say a few words, Senator? Thank you, John. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Tom Davis. I am the senator from Beaver County. I've been in office for three years. Before that, I was chief of staff for Governor Mark Sanford. It was for two years ago when he crashed and burned. I'd be in Iowa right now setting up precinct captains because I think we have an extra president of the United States on our hands, but that's water under the bridge. But let me just say this. I mean, you got people like Jim and Joe Wilson and a great congressional delegation up there fighting what's going on in Washington, and we need to be fighting what's going on in Washington. But we can never forget that the infection of statism isn't limited to Washington. It's already down here in Columbia, and it's at the local level. This whole notion does not stop up in Washington, D.C. Last year in Columbia, we increased the general fund spending by 19%. At the same time, your income has grown to 3.5%. In the last two years, we increased Medicaid spending by 59%. Okay? Ten years ago, we spent $34 million a year on special targeted tax breaks to certain corporations. In 2008, it was $534 million. Now it's over a billion dollars a year. It used to be to get ahead, you worked hard, you invested your money, and you reap the benefits. Now you get a lobbyist, you get to a committee chairman, you get a tax break. We've got more tax breaks and exempt more taxes and sales taxes than we collect. If we sunset those exemptions, you can lower your sales tax from 6%. 2.5 percent. Well, you can take that money and give yourself some property tax relief. And it wouldn't go to all these corporations that have the access. So remember, when we talk about liberty, when we talk about the free market, we talk about capitalism, it's just not Washington, D.C. that's corrupt, guys. It is Columbia as well. It's Columbia as well. There's no reason why, with the Republican majority in the House, the Republican majority in the Senate, and the Republican in the governor's office, we don't have school choice. We don't have real tort reform. We don't have a spending cap. We've got the highest top marginal income tax rate in the, in the Southeast. We need to demand more. And what I am focused on, and I will help whoever gets elected or nominated to be the GOP primary candidate. I will fight like heck to make sure that Obama is a one-term president. But my focus is making sure that we also deliver the conservative change for you in Columbia that you deserve. Because that's what you all control. We have a great leader in Nikki Haley who's leading the way. We need a House and a Senate that are real Republicans, not just Democrats that transferred over to became Republicans, but real Republicans. My goal in 2012 is to be like Jim DeMint in Washington, D.C. when he went to Arlen Specter and said, I'm sorry, Arlen, I'm backing Pat Toomey because he believes what I believe in. There are some people in Columbia that run with an R by their name, that do not govern with an R by their name, and they need to be challenged, and they need to be revived. And that's what I'm here for. Thank you all very much.